Guess who's back? Back again. Baby's back. In Beijing. <laughs> well, it's our first time in Beijing, second time in China, so we're back and we're excited. <laughs> Metro stations here in Beijing. Looking lovely, looking busy. Not as busy as it was back in Shanghai. Hello, hello, good evening. Ni hao and ni hao ma. All of you beautiful people out there, how's it going? We are super excited to be back in China. New place this time, the capital, the heart of China, Beijing. All right, this time we're going to take you guys with us to explore the nightlife here in Beijing and see what the nightlife is like. From where we're staying, down here, literally six yuan. Not bad. For two people. That is crazy, actually. I'm really surprised at how affordable, like, Oh, the metro is here. It's getting a little busier. As you can tell from the entire vibe, it's cold, cold, cold again. I'm liking the hat. Thank you. And my hat here. I've got gloves on me as well for tonight because, because, get ready for this. Do you know what the temperature is going to be tonight? Minus nine. <laughs> that is too cold. So let's go and see what's happening right now here in Beijing. Check out the night scene see what's going on, get some good food, see the lights, let's go! Wow, we can tell we've arrived over to Wan at Fujing Street, you guys. We've got someone inside here doing some TikTok right here. That's cute. We've got a huge Huawei store right here. We have a massive night in the distance, and this street is all lit up. Like the trees are all super cute. Yeah, girl, you go. You go, honey. Wow, okay, Taz is over here. I think we're gonna go and cross the road and head down this way, but. Look at these huge billboards as well. Wow. No, come back. <laughs> Wait for me. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we made it. Okay, wow. So you guys, this place is busy i mean i don't want to compare it to shanghai but it doesn't seem to be as busy however we've just passed like the festive season and we are obviously going into very close gonna be the chinese new year so it feels like they've changed the decorations over of course but look on these trees they've got kind of little lanterns going on which is super cute but we are out and about in full force this cold weather is not Stopping the tourists and the Bay, Beijing, uh, Beijing, 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 Nez. What do you what? call people <laughs> that live in Beijing? Comment below yeah. and let us know. Is it Beijingers? <laughs> I don't think it is, but I don't, know. I don't know. You guys are the experts, you let us know. Woo, look at these as well. Ginormous billboards up there. Huge, huge, huge. Bit of Jennifer Lawrence. Lovely bit of Charlotte Tilbury. We have got many, many, many uh, shops down here. We've got some big designer names. Wow. I'm hoping, I'm hoping as well, you guys, that we might be able to find some food. Now, I know that you guys told us, avoid all of like the touristy streets because the food won't be as good. But honestly, it's our first proper night here and we just want to walk around, see what we can find. I don't even know, we have zero plans. So who knows what we're gonna find, but I'm so excited. This place, I'm loving it so far. Oh, look what at this one, that's a 3D uh, advert sign. I was just gonna say, what are these people all taking photos of? And then I realized as we turned around, 
Look at yeah, that. Yeah, it's a 3D outward sign. This Ooh. is sick. This is so cool. Is this going to be one with like where the dog pops out or a tiger This is going to be where it comes up with our name on there saying Sunkiss Bucket List, like and subscribe, all of China. You Yay. know what the deal is. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, look at that. That is so cool. That is amazing. It looks like things are popping out of that screen though, isn't it? Look. The rabbit. Oh, it's like kangaroo. I think it's a rabbit. What's a kangaroo doing in China? That's is pretty it rabbit? cool though, isn't it? That is amazing. Oh, now we're going to... Oh, oh, nugget. Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. We are very easily impressed if you can't tell. That is so cool though. I love things like that where they've got those 3D adverts. It always draws in a crowd. Wow. That T Rex is like, see you guys later, right? We're hungry. We're hoping we're going to find some good, delicious Chinese food. When we were in Shanghai, you guys, on our first trip previously. So many suggestions oh. came in. People are like, you really need to go and get yes. your munch on as far as Chinese food is concerned. Yep. You know what? You can't come to Beijing and not try Peking duck. So that's no. on the to-do list. Maybe not tonight, but we'll see how it goes. You know what? Never say never. We, we just saw this place from the middle of the street and we thought, no, gotta do it. Wow. Ni hao. Oh, fancy. It's time for some tea. Some ice cream, bubble tea, some flavored tea. What do Ooh, you fancy? That looks like green tea ice cream. Ni hao. We got jasmine milk tea. We got oolong bubble tea. Oh, there's loads. I know that one. Which one? Uh, oolong bubble tea, one please. Yeah. Oh. Green tea ice cream as well. <laughs> decisions, decisions. You're gonna have a cold ice cream and then a hot drink. Yeah. At least you're balancing it out, right? We're gonna have some green tea ice cream okay. and then some oolong bubble tea. Uh, mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay, look, we have this um, power bank system thing again that we showed you guys in Shanghai. Is this? this is, I think, one of the first times I've seen it, although we did see it in the previous vlog a few times. But I love that, like, you can go anywhere and you don't have to worry about your phone being out of charge because. They got you covered. You don't really need no power bank here in China. No. Like if you're running out, thank she you, she she. Green Ooh. tea ice cream. I've never had this before. What's the verdict? Oh, my friend's just gone with an ice cream over here too, so it must be. I'm popular. not the only one, do you? There you go. Try it out. Tell us what it's like. Mmm. That's so creamy as well. Oh, that is really rich though. Like. I don't even know if I could do a whole ice cream on my own, but that's so good. That's why you got me, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you'll manage it, but that's so easy, nice. Easy, easy, The ice cream and the oolong tea is uh, 25 altogether. That's decent. Yeah, this is nine yuan, so this is a pound. Thank oh, you. Yes, 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 please. Thank you. It is ready. Yay. I'm looking forward to that as well. So Here comes our tea. Thank you very much. Gonna warm our hands up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shishi. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna head outside and try it now. Shishi, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. That was so cute, you guys. Honestly, the people have been so friendly. Like, we absolutely have loved being here loved it so much so obviously we had to come back it wasn't even like a month ago you guys that we were here yeah but the first time we came here it was before christmas and new year i still can't get over the fact how beautiful these lights look with the lanterns on the side and it's all the way around like all the way down there uh all the way back there as well got a cartier store here wow all right if you guys are planning on uh shopping around here yeah just make sure you've got your uh wallets absolutely full because this place is going to cost you an arm and a leg yeah for sure we figured out and we downloaded alipay so we are now having way less trouble paying it's super super easy but also we do still have some cash on us so cash is just as easy and also still just as accepted so if you are traveling into china then we highly recommend do download alipay like we said before because it's going to help you out it's going to make things a little easier but yeah so far cheers see you merry go round here we go Let's go on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, KFC. Let me just meet someone. Uh -huh. Of course.
course. Have you seen our vlogs? Yes, watch. <laughs> like, I've only like three videos of Shanghai, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we're in Beijing. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. welcome, welcome. So, so the weather's all right. Small world, a eh? small world. We've just run into a subscriber. You guys enjoy? Yeah, good, yeah, good, the, for good for you. Good for you. Yeah, okay. Hey, nice Hi. meeting you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> guys, I just came to sit down and she came over and was like, Excuse me, um, do you do YouTube? And I was like, Yeah. She's like, Your son is fucking this son, you're not so <laughs> famous. <laughs> Who would have known that we'd run into somebody that's a subscriber yeah, here in China? she was so sweet and she said her husband watches as well. So, hello to you. Thank you so much. You just made our day. That was so sweet, but it is time. We've got to finish the ice here. cream. Whoa, we saw this bookstore from all the way back there when we were just finishing up our bubble tea. And look at this. We're about to go in. And I've seen this a few times, you guys. Dad's just demonstrated it there. But... You go through, it's like a big duvet. This is heavy. <laughs> That's so cool, I love that. Wow. Here we are, we've come into Wan Fu Jing Bookstore, you guys. This is absolutely huge. Wow, look at this. We have all different Chinese New Year. Oh, look, a calendar. Some different decorations here, too. This Ooh. is all the collection for Chinese New Year. I guess so. Oh, this is cool, too. This is like a um, 3D one. That looks amazing. Look at all of these books in here as well. I did not expect this. And it's so super grand. It's not like your normal library or bookstore. This is fancy schmatz. Although all the books are in obviously Chinese. So, wow. Yeah, some, uh, cookbooks down here, I reckon. They're not cookbooks, you Wally, they're Matt. <laughs> yes. Here, I look. have no idea what I saw that made me think these were cookbooks. Maybe I'm hungry, I don't know. Can you guys tell that Taz doesn't actually read anything? There's a basement and a food court. I thought I could smell food, you guys. There's a food court. Sorry. Yeah, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe that's the reason why I thought that was food that I was looking at. Cookbooks. Is there that's true, smell. yeah. You never know, right? I wondered why this bookstore was oh, so popular. Oh, yeah, me too. Look at this, we've got loads of different places down here. Oh, we're, we've even got a subway, you guys. There you go, make you feel like you're at home. Is there something oh, on here? I've seen these. Are these like the beef buns? Yeah, they look like a, a pie kind of thing. Or Guess what? noodles. Guys, this time we've come prepared. We've got the Translate, we've got AliExpress. We've come with our China Starter Kit 101, yeah? So we're not <laughs> going to be dumbfounded. We know exactly what we're after. So if you go and read Mandarin, no problem. Don't worry, we will whip out our Translate and then we'll be good to go. Happy days. Let's try and work this out. Give us two seconds. Be right back. Let's go. A few moments later. Did it go through? I think, yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's slightly confusing. I never know when I have to scan and when I should just show my. Don't want to show you guys, but when I should show my QR code. So there we go. We figured it out. Now we got the menu. We ordered. So what did we get? One of these. Yes, we got. Oh, it's like a, a chicken crispy bun. Yeah, Apple Translate said it was like a hamburger. So okay. Chicken hamburger. What else have we got? Chicken hamburger, and we got this one down here. It's very, very small, but tofu. Okay. Crispy tofu. So. Crispy. I mean, you've selected all of this. I haven't so far, so I hope this is good. Yeah, I mean, there was a real variety of things. There was like some cold noodles. Um, there was. That's beef. Bun. beef. Yes. Uh, that's the beef crispy bun, chicken. Chicken's what we're going for. Let's see what this food's like. I mean, to be honest. This wasn't even the plan, so we thought we were going into a bookstore, right? Next thing we know, it turns into this whole food court in the basement. So, you know what? Us and food, match made in heaven. We got yeah. hand in hand. We got our priorities sorted, you guys. Follow our nose. You know, like we thought we were being really nerdy or something. We we're gonna go into a bookstore. We're gonna Bookworms. I'm still not sure what the name of the place is. No, I don't. Um, I don't know. You guys can let us know there if that means yeah. anything. Thank you. Ooh. What is that? Good. This is a uh, uh, pig. Yeah. What is it? I think chopsticks. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, uh, here we are. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, this looks... That looks like hash browns, but tofu version. <laughs> It smells really, it smells spicy. It smells like it's gonna be on fire, but I'm so excited. And then look at the sun. Tiny hamburger. I'm actually more excited for this, but I'll have this as well. Look. Oh my days, look at the size of that bad boy. And it's super crispy and flaky, like. Wait, ready? Look at that. Oh, ASMR this. Yeah, it's like really flaky. Is it um, ready to eat or would you let it cool down a little bit? Is it too hot? Crispy tofu. Oh, did you hear that? That's like a crunch. What's the deal? Yo, this sauce tastes like a chicken sauce or something. Oh, <laughs> yum. It's just tofu though, right? Mm. You guys, we also had a byproduct of tofu like when we were in Shanghai and we had no idea what it was, but it was so good. That just goes to show you that tofu mm. is done in many different ways and it is mm. freaking delicious. Mm. Actually, I would give this a solid nine. Oh, top scorer. Spicy. Oh my god, this looks amazing. It's so flaky, like I'm just breaking loads of bits off. <laughs> that looks like a pasty bait. Oh my god, pastry is everywhere. What's it like? Is it chicken, right, or beef? Chicken. Oh my, god. that is amazing. Wow. There's like it kind of tastes a little bit. It's not tomatoey, but that's like the closest thing I can describe it as. It's a bit spicy. Ooh. Oh. And like the inside of the pastry is that soft, so you got the flaky bit on that. Oh, outside. is that the tomato? Yeah, I think so. Oh, nice. Really good. I have to go in for another one. That is so good. Rating, wow. rating. Okay, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a nine, a nine out of ten as well. Oh, so good. Solid. Mm. All right, pass here. So good. Okay, yeah, your turn to try. <laughs> mm. Yum, yum, yum. Someone is enjoying this far too much, guys. What other foods should we try whilst we are here in Beijing? We are big, big foodies and honestly we love everything. However, side note, we don't eat pork. So send us all the best recommendations, you guys, non-pork ones, and then we're gonna give them a try. I can assure you, I'm sure we'll love them because we love anything that's food. Thank you so much. That was so good. That was delicious, so good. <laughs> Escalator, here. No, restaurant, here. There's more down there as well. And around the corner too, but... We stopped at the first one that we saw. Oh, we did, yeah. I mean, it had to be done. <laughs> Thank you. Let us show you how easy it is with Alipay, huh? Yeah, super easy. So we just selected where we want to go. So we're going to go to the area of San Lipton, I think is how you say it. San Lipton, I don't know. Maybe I'm butchering that. But we're going to pay with Alipay. So we just scan the QR code. Hey! Jobs are good and look at that. Lovely. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. That was nice and simple. Just four yuan each. That Pretty good, I think. Here's our ticket. Tap it. Boop. Here we go. Line six. Which isn't here, so now we need to figure out again which line we need. Okay. You. <laughs> okay, we have to find out where we're going. Let's do this. We are. We're here. Honestly, the metro stations here are huge. The whole city underground, and they're really well maintained as well. I like them. This Look at this, cute. pristine. You can even see there's like the floor <laughs> shining. Like that's how clean and pristine it is. You got some vending machines here as well. So if you're uh, thirsty, you can get your drinks on, get your hydration going. Got a little something, something here. You got some minions and things. This is so cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love China. It's crazy, right? And there's so much red everywhere here as well that we've noticed. Well, I didn't check anything, so you said it's this one, so I got on. Yay! So, that's us. We're going there. This is so cool, so it tells you exactly where you are, where you're coming off, 
what the next stop is as well so this is pretty cool i love it it's nice and busy in here on a weeknight as well so This is a busy line. Wow, V, what's happening here? It feels like going to a football game. Walking through the tunnel, Wembley Stadium, we're coming. This has to be the escalator to heaven. All the way there. All right, this seems like the main district, the main event where everyone comes down for a little night out. That building looks epic, like a massive honeycomb. <laughs> Look at us comparing everything to food. <laughs> Once again. What's that? These look like a big blue Massive bloom. <laughs> Green man, let's go. Let's go. All right, this looks pretty cool. I like this, I like this. Where are you, ask? We are in the area of San Lee Tan. Also, this is a, a shopping mall, Thai Kuli fashion. Yeah. I'm walking where I see shiny, glittery stuff because that's just how I roll. There you go. Easiest way to catch my attention. Okay, what's happening down here though? Oh, that's Adidas behind these balloons. What are these balloons here for then, eh? Oh, this is epic. These are actually quite cool, I quite like them. Look at them going round. They look like from afar, they're floating. Here he comes. Strut any star. Kapow. Woo! <laughs> they're like a little photo shoot spot though, you know? People are getting their pictures taken. We've got a big, big, big Starbucks in the back there. Right, wow. Listen, I see a lot happening down there, yeah? Yeah. More lights, music. Looks like there's some bars and cafes there as well. So that's what we're here for, some nightlife. Oh. We have heard this is the trendy spot, you guys. This is the place you go if you want to come for some pubs, some bars, some clubs, some restaurants maybe too. And I guess probably a little bit of shopping as well. We've got a big shop Gentle in here. Monster. Gentle Monster. Have you heard of that one? Because I oh, haven't. That's a new one, but it looks like uh, it's a cross between some cosplay and um, Harry Potter. Yeah, that's I was just door. thinking Gryffindor. that. There you go, that's eh? That's Chinese way. Starbucks over here. I mean, you know, you can't go anywhere without a Starbucks. There's a Shake Shack down Shake there. Shack. <laughs> there you go, eh? You're never too far from a Starbucks. We're always talking about food, aren't we? <laughs> Terrible. Shocking behaviour, but I'm having we no love rest it. of food while we're in China, right? Because we're here, we're gonna eat all the traditional, nice, yummy Chinese delight. As you can see, the hoods come on because it is getting colder by the minute. There you go, you've even, got <laughs> you've even got steam More coming out of your mouth. The last time we were in China, when we were in Shanghai, right? We were saying there's more Western brands here in China than in the West itself, to be honest, because there's so many brands, brands on brands, Louis, Fendi, Gucci, Prada, you name it, China, got it all. Do you know what? Super sized stores as well, yeah? Not just like normal shops, huge, huge stores. Okay, I think that was the fashion street. If in doubt, just go straight. That's what we always tend to do. So is that where we're going then? I guess so. Nine times out of ten we'll end up walking back on ourselves. <laughs> but you know what, it's fun. We're having a good time, we're exploring, we're seeing something new, we're seeing new neighbourhoods, so I'm liking it. Beijing, you got my heart so far. You got my heart.
Wow, the temperature is dropping even more. It's like around minus nine. This is crazy. My hands are so freaking cold. Oh, wow, okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep walking around. This place is amazing though. It's so huge. There's so many different designers here as well. Crazy. What is this? So this is just behind LV. What is this? Yeah, look at that. We're not on the ground floor, see? <laughs> this entire time I've been thinking, we're on the ground floor, but no. It's all a lie. <laughs> look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, wait, I have no idea what's going on here in this wall art, but it looks colorful, it looks cool, it looks epic, it is huge. That's the LV store, Louis Vuitton, baby. Louis! Alright, shall we continue walking yeah. that way? We're continuing this. So we've heard that there's a really famous bar street with like 60% of Beijing's bars there. So that's interesting. Apparently there's about 80. So we're wandering around. It's supposed to be in this area. Honestly, we're getting distracted by all the shops as well. We could do a bit of window shopping. Wow. No going inside actual shops and buying anything because that's going to cost me an arm and a leg. This place looks expensive. A few moments later. We think that we found the Red Moon Club, which is supposed to be one of like the best bars. And it's just behind us over there. But it's all like boarded up. So I'm confused. I thought this Red Moon Club was on Bar Street, which is supposed to be buzzing and lively. I don't see any buzzing and lively. I don't know if we're in the right place or the wrong place. <laughs> but I haven't seen anywhere else. We've done like a whole loop around this place. We've honestly been walking in and out. It's more days. shopping than bars. Yeah, it's way more shopping. I think on the first floor, there's a lot of restaurants. But on the like the ground floor bit or the main bit, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of shops. So, I don't know. I can't recommend it for bars because I didn't see any. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a cool place to come hang out. I like it. It's nice and quirky, a bit trendy, a bit hip. That's the way back in as well. Yeah, I think we actually came that way as well, but I lost my way about four times, so I don't know. I think we're gonna head straight down because I think this is back to like the main dungeon. That's how we started. Should we go there? <laughs> Let's go check it out. I'm like fascinated. The, the, the. All the lights, it's crazy bright over here. It's like little Times Square. Yeah, a bit starstruck. That was the place I was telling you guys about, Tai Koo Lee. Starstruck girl? Which one? Tai Koo Lee. That one. Alright, we're waiting for the green one to come on. I think it's like... Oh, it is easy! Okay, here we are. This car is not stopping for anyone. He's going to stop for me though. Good man. There we go. Zebra crossing. Green man's on, my man. Wait. Here we go. We're walking towards the honeycomb. Honeycomb is where the steps with the lights are. This looks uh, luminous. It does. It's looking very fast. Well, what is this? Is this like a shopping mall? I think it's that. But I don't think it's open. I think it's all closed. I like the steps. <laughs> the steps alone would do it for me. Plus this massive screen here. And that... Re There's so many 3D screens here. Look at this. It's like... A scene out of a cyberpunk film. Wow! I love this! Alright you guys, tonight's been so much fun. We explored the nightlife here in Beijing. Just a few areas that you guys recommended. I'm sure there's so many more places that we can go and see but I think we're pretty much done for tonight because it is freezing cold. And it's also like after nine o'clock as well. It's like half past nine. So it's been fun. It's been interesting to see. I'm surprised at just how many people are out and about. It's a weekday night as well. Loads of people shopping, going for dinner. So yeah, we've enjoyed it a lot, you guys, but we are gonna finish it up here. So if you aren't subscribed yet, then you know the deal. Get on it, you guys, and also go check us out on Instagram. We're gonna post daily, daily stories there. Daily. And loads that don't make it into these vlogs as well. So you're gonna wanna check that out at some point. Behind the scenes. 
too many vlogs coming up from Beijing when we go around China actually it's not just yeah. Beijing there's more coming up as well so stay tuned oh my gosh what is this sorry I got distracted I was doing an outro and then I saw this massive dinosaur <laughs> we shall see you in the next one subscribe